roads this morning. We've got an update to a story we first brought you last week about a Chatham area transit plan that would carry students around town. Today, the cap board will discuss if there should be a minimum age for students who can participate. And Chase Schrader is joining us live at the cat headquarters this morning to explain how this program will work. Jay. Yes, uh, Aria Kyle, it's called the Zero Fare Pilot Program, and what it is would allow students to be able to take Chatham Area Transit buses for free, and the goal of that would be to help them get around to work, vocational school, or specialty school programs if there aren't any other means of transportation. But like you said, uh, the board is going to be looking at if there is a minimum age that is going to need to be required, and Dietrich Leggett, who is on the CAB Board of Directors, tells me that they are going to be working with the civilian Anna Chatham County Public School System to determine what age would be appropriate. Now, all students would need to ride the bus would be a student ID, but parents can also apply for a bus pass for their child, uh, and that way CAT would have access to emergency contact information. Now, again, the idea is to expand transportation access and make things more equitable. And then Leggett, who again is CAT board member, says that he has been advocating for the program for years. I, was, I said it during the campaign, we were going to do it, and it feels real good to be able to roll out within the next couple of months and give our young people an opportunity to go to school, get some vocational training, and go to job sites, and uh, we don't have to charge them. Like it adds that there will be security measures in place for students that are going to board buses, such as security cameras on buses and possibly at bus stops. The CAB Board of Directors is expected to meet at 11 o'clock this morning to discuss this, among other things. So stick with WTOC for the very latest updates. Live in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. New at daybreak from the state capital.